ever feel like there's like this whole other level of reality we're just barely tapping into? Yeah, you know, kind of like we're only using 10% of our brains, like that old saying. Exactly. And that's where shamanism comes in. We're diving into guided shamanic journeys today. Oh, sounds intense. <laughs> it's a trip, that's for sure. But the source we've got actually breaks it down pretty well for beginners. Oh, perfect. Beginner friendly is good, Absolutely. Right? No need to be a shaman in training to follow along. So first things first, what even is a shamanic journey? It sounds kind of like, I don't know, mystical trekking through the Amazon or something. Well, there's definitely exploration involved but not in the way you might picture. Instead of hacking through a jungle, you're navigating the landscapes of your own consciousness. Okay, so less machete, more meditation. Exactly. It's like a deep, deep dive into your inner world, all to access hidden knowledge and healing energy. Like an inner Indiana Jones searching for hidden treasures of the mind. I like that. I like that. And speaking of guidance, this source really emphasizes guided journeys. What's the deal with that? Yeah, it seems like the training wheels version, which makes sense for us, maybe. It's definitely a great way to start. Mm. Imagine, like, you're setting out on a trek through unfamiliar territory. Mm. Wouldn't you want an experienced guide to show you the ropes, make sure you don't wander off the path? Totally. So a guide in this case would be... It's an experienced shaman, or even just a recording using specific techniques, drumming, rattling, guided visualizations, things that help you shift your awareness into that deep meditative state where the magic happens. So it's less about physically going somewhere and more about shifting your perception to access another level of reality, kind of. You got it. And in that space, that's where you might connect with your intuition, tap into ancestral wisdom, or even, and this is where it gets really interesting, encounter your power animal. Hold up, power animal, like a spirit animal. Think of it like a spirit guide, closely connected to the natural world, often an animal that can offer protection, wisdom, or specific skills you need in your life. It's a big part of many shamanic traditions. So you go on this journey to meet your own personal spirit animal, essentially. What does that even look like? It's different for everyone. Some people see vivid imagery. Others might just get a feeling and knowing. The key is to approach the journey with an open mind and heart, ready to receive whatever insights and guidance emerge. Mm. This is blowing my mind a little bit. And we're just scratching the surface here. The source hints at other applications for shamanic journeying too, right? Oh yeah, definitely. We've touched on healing, but there's also problem solving, connecting with your creativity, even working through past traumas. It's all about tapping into the incredible power of your own subconscious. It makes you wonder, what else are we capable of if we just knew how to access these deeper Isn't parts it? of yeah. ourselves? And maybe, just maybe, shamanic journeying holds some of the answers. Definitely something to think about.